Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Yes, I got some nice components from my practicing workplace. Uh, it was a dead inverter there. All the transistors was blown up. And yes, it was two t two thousand and five hundred watts. Two thousand five hundred watts. And of course, we could repair that. But of course, it had another problem as well. One little IC, a 14 pin IC, like a S3352 or a TL494, I think. And of course, it was blown. One leg was totally blown off. You could see it, and the top was intact. And of course, you could read the markings on it and buy another one. But of course, one idiot had uh, taken away that markings on it. Of maybe he just took some sandpaper and sandpapered it away. So bloody unnecessary. Yes, so I just took it apart, sold this, sold all of these transformers. Was two nice capacitors inside it. And this is very high frequency transformers as well lots of diodes fast switching was rectifying that AC which came out of these transformers some ferrites yes and of course I at last found a good way to start this thing up this low pressure sodium arc lamp just one MOT a little inductive ballast a contactor and and of course the most important thing a variac yes and I I found something inside in this light bulb which I doesn't know why they're doing why they does if some of you know what these two rings are for please comment but I just think that it takes away some of the uh, radiation from that these wires or something inside that and that will make them go hot and that's what makes this glass black I just think it's what it's supposed to do but if, you, if anybody knows please comment let's try to start it it worked last time. I'm gonna drive it ballasted and unballasted. I think it pulls nearly uh, one no thirteen amps unballasted. I'll we'll start with high voltage. I'll we'll start with high voltage and I flip it over the flip over the contactor. So I'll put the camera here. The solder iron, solder wire against the camera so it doesn't fall tip over when I do something with the contactor. <coughs> we start the transformer and the variac. There's some switches here. Turn on the voltage, turn up the voltage. Mmm, sounds nice. Up meter. And there's just 400 milliamps, which goes into that light light bulb, sodium now, or lamp. Gonna flip it over now. Yes. 0 0.6 amps. Just wait for wait for it to heat up. Pretty nice effects inside there. Yes, this is ballasted. I 
gonna try it with a bit high voltage and flip that over, crank it down a bit. Gonna test to do it unballasted. This is unballasted. I'm gonna do it to flip it over and watch now. You see the difference <laughs> before and before and after the, the unbalancing input. Hmm, how many amps was that? Eleven amps. Yes. Ash. One more. It's eleven point sixty one amps. It's not so good for it. Pretty nice. Nice arc lamp. I test it one more time. See what happens. Disconnecting that. This time it pulled 12 amps. Yes, I have up the voltage up. The voltage, the current and the pressure inside there of course. That's for 6 amps. I just... All the 6 amps goes into that MOT. And nothing of that goes into a light bulb. Stone cold. The ballast, of course. Everything is yellow inside here. Now it's run on 2000 volts. I need to do a last unbalanced test with it. Maximum current and fire. Ten point eighteen amps. And disconnect everything. Oh, wrong speech. Bit dark. Here I will disconnect. Yes, thanks for watching.